G'day. Um, today we're going to have a little lesson on safety. So today's lesson is don't be a fool with fireworks. From the Daily Mail. Shocking moment, man almost lost his legs when three fireworks exploded in his pocket during 4th of July celebrations. A man was almost left without legs when three fireworks were accidentally lit while in his pockets, letting off a huge blast in a housing estate. Justin Bryden made a 30-mile journey from Taylor County to Colorado Springs to join Independence Day celebrations last Thursday, but as he leant down to light a mortar, the three fireworks he was carrying in the pockets of his cargo shorts were lit. Suddenly, the entire street lit up as the fireworks exploded with Mr. Bryden in the centre of the blast. So I'll show you um, the video that uh, accompanies this article. Um, and remember, this video is about a lesson in not to fool around with fireworks, as Mr. Bryden here has done. So let's check out the video. Um, I haven't included the sound. I mean, they're just large, loud explosions of fireworks, um, which we've all heard before. I mean, they're pretty loud. Um, as we can see in many of these well-documented violent events that um, we see on the TV, lots of people can mistake the sound of fireworks for gunfire. But anyway, let's just flick through a couple of these images because I want to show you why um, you shouldn't fool around with fireworks or be a little bit lazy or clumsy around fireworks as Mr. Bryden was, as you can see the damage done to his legs. Um, fireworks aren't to be mucked around with children. If you can see this, um, don't muck around with fireworks. And adults shouldn't be mucking around with fireworks. You should take fireworks very seriously. As you can see, um, they tore a large hole in his, in his cargo um, pants, um, pretty much destroyed them. They're no good no more. And he's got some, um, some burn marks. Um, yeah, and some, you can see it doesn't look very comfortable. He's going to be a sore boy for a few days. So therein lies the lesson. Do not muck around with fireworks. And um, Mr. Bryden, I don't think, realizes just how lucky, in fact, he was that he didn't um, sustain further injuries. Um, I just want to take you back in time um, to an event uh, that took place a little while ago. Back in... April of 2013, a horrendous event happened at the Boston Marathon. Um, some explosions took place and people suffered severe injuries. Now, I'm not going to be one of those people who deny that this um, well-documented violent event took place because, well, it's very, very well-documented that this violent, violent event took place. I mean, even Wikipedia has a page dedicated to it. That's what you can see on your screen right now is um, the page. You can, you can If you want to read up about it, if you're not too sure what happened, you can go and read up all about it here at Wikipedia or um, check out all, your, all the trusted news sources. Um, plenty of um, information about what happened there. Plenty of um, interviews with witnesses and, and victim and witness testimonies and stuff to take in. But anyway, um, the reason that I wanted to mention... Um, this very well documented violent event that took place in um, April 2013 in Boston, um, which I'm certainly not denying because it's so very well documented that this event took place as reported. Um, but the reason that I wanted to mention it is because there was also two um, people at this event that I just want to just want to highlight here um, to show you just how lucky um, these people are. In fact, I don't I don't know if they realised just how lucky they were, um, even more so lucky than um, Mr. Bryden with the fireworks in his pocket. But um, there was this guy, I can't remember what his name is, but you can see um, how close he must have been to the explosions at the Boston Marathon because it has torn away his clothes from him, much in a way that um, they did from Mr. Um, Mr. Bryden with the fireworks in his pocket. And this bloke, you can, well... It's clear how lucky indeed that he is as well because he was obviously very close, probably closer than the last bloke because, um, well, there's photos of him um, while there's still smoke um, from the explosion present. 
Um, and you can see that he has lost quite a bit of his clothing due to that explosion as well. It's torn his, um, must have been terrifying. It's torn his pants to shreds and, um, and even the, the left arm of his shirt. He, I, 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 I just seriously wonder how often these blokes sit back and just consider just how lucky that they were, um, that they weren't harmed, you know, like Mr. Bryden here. Um, he had three fireworks in his pocket and it's done that damage, you know, tore his pants and, and left him with some pretty nasty burns and stuff. But he, I think he's counting his lucky star. So that, I just wanted to point out those three people. When I saw that um, story of Mr. Bryden's, he reminded me of just how lucky some people are, especially those guys from the marathon. Um, Cause uh, there are others like this guy um, who were just weren't so lucky I mean, he had both of his legs removed by the explosions. It was just horrific. Um, and he had to lay there for, oh, it was, you know, oh, up to 10 minutes before he actually was put into the wheelchair and whisked away to finally receive some help. He, he's very lucky himself that he didn't bleed to death uh, right there in the chair. But luckily for him, um, this bloke that uh, you can see with the ruck on or the tough ruck um, shirt, his name is Carlos Arredondo. Um, he is a hero. Uh, there's no other way to, to put it. He's an absolute dead set hero. And if you're not too sure about um, uh, the deeds, uh, the uh, just remarkable deeds of Carlos Arredondo on that day, um, go search him out. Um, find, look, look for some of the footage um, from the aftermath. It's hard to watch, but if you just focus in on um, Carlos alone and see what he did from the point of the explosion to where we saw him um, getting Jeff the guy who lost his legs off to some serious help. Um, it'll astonish you at what he did. He's a m remarkable. And so, yeah, just to round it off, the lesson that I wanted to get across here is don't muck around with fireworks because um, you could have um, ended up, a, like they said here, for this poor guy, Mr. Bryden, who was very lucky to get away with minor injuries like he did, could have ended up like that guy at the Boston um, Marathon and had both of his legs um, torn from his body. And you... The thing is, uh, that guy was extremely lucky. <laughs> uh, oh, I know he lost he he lost his um his his legs. It was horrific, but he was extremely lucky that he had that um hero Carlos Arredondo there to help him out. And that's is this is why it's so important that you teach your kids and and just your friends not to muck around with fireworks, um, because we don't all and we won't all always have um, a Carlos Arredondo at hand to help us. In fact, I urge you to seek out as much of that um, footage from that tragic, well-documented, um, violent event that took place. I mean, it was so, it's so very well-documented, you can't deny that that violent event took place. And you'd be stupid, you'd be mad to, to deny that that well-documented violent event took place, which I'm certainly not denying that that well-documented event um, violent event took place but I, I urge you to seek out as much of the footage it's horrific and it's hard to watch but if you just focus in on Carlos Arredondo you'll find him he's got the cowboy hat on he was famous for for his cowboy hat what a hero and I am um, just focus in on him and, and and try to avoid looking at all the carnage and just just look at and follow what Carlos did in those minutes after the explosion and you'll be you'll be truly astounded astounded amazed um, you'll be yeah, it'll, it'll really throw you back uh, at the deeds that Carlos did that day. He, he truly is a remarkable, um, an incredible hero. So, um, yeah, anyway, look, back, got sidetracked there. Um, the lesson is don't mess around with fireworks, kids. Mr. Bryden got away with it. Um, he was lucky. He had three in his pocket and he could have lost his legs like we saw with these blokes. And, yeah, explosions and not something to be mucked around with. Okay, so take care, and um, yeah, hope, I hope um, I've shed a little bit of um, light on the importance of safety around fireworks. Thanks.